السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رمضان مبارك إن شاء الله Also the Eid of Nowruz إن شاء الله مبارك on you all of you We will begin إن شاء الله from tonight a series of sessions on the description of paradise in the Quran Paradise, inshallah, will be our final and inshallah perpetual abode. And we must know this place. We must get familiar with this place. We must get a glimpse of what we're going to what we're going to meet in this place, inshallah. Of course, there is no full description. Full description, inshallah, when we enter paradise. We will be aware. The hadith says, فِيهَا مَا لَمْ تَرَ عَيْنٌ وَلَا سَمِعَتْ أُذُنٌ وَلَا خَطَرَ عَلَى قَلْبِ بَشَرٌ Paradise is made of things that your eyes have never seen anywhere, not even in Hollywood movies. Neither you've heard of, of it anywhere, nor crossed your mind or your imagination. Something is special, something very, very special. And no matter how much we read about it, how much we research about it, we are not going to fathom, we are not going to embrace all aspects of paradise. Some of them are very difficult to fathom, to digest. But inshallah, when we go, we will see these things visible right before our eyes. And they are fact, they are not <clears throat> fictions, they are not fairy tale, they are true statements, true verses of the Qur'an, and mostly I'm going in this series to depend on the Qur'anic verses, mostly. Though we're going to use some of the hadith, but most of the description of paradise, Jannah, is mentioned in the Qur'an. So we're going to study it through the Qur'anic lens, insha'Allah. Sallu ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين وعلى سيدنا ومولانا الإمام الحجة بن الحسن المهدي المنتظر عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوانه أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وسارعوا إلى مغفرة من ربكم وجنة عرضها السماوات والأرض وعدت للمتقين صدق الله العلي العظيم. The first question is when we speak about paradise, does it exist now? Has it been created? Or it will be created later on. The scholars are divided into two parts, two groups. Some of them believe, and most of them in fact believe, according to the Quranic verses, that paradise and hellfire are already created. One of them is this verse, Uiddat. But there is a comment on that. Those who believe that it is not created, they have an answer to this. And we're going to come to it. Among the Imami Ithna Ashari scholars, as Shaykh al Saduq has a book, important book, named Al I'tiqadat, the system of belief in the Shia Imami 12 tradition. In his book, he says, he believes that. Both of them, the paradise and hellfire, have been created. 
And the Prophet وسلم, during the Mi'raj, the ascension, the ascension trip, he did enter paradise. And he did see the hellfire too. And therefore, when he came down to the earth, from the moment he descended from Mi'raj, from the ascension, until the moment of death, the Prophet was never seen laughing. Smiling, yes, but not laughing. When he saw the hellfire on that journey. Al-Irshad, Shaykh al-Mufid, in his book, also believes that there is a unanimous, unanimity, consensus among the scholars that paradise and hellfire have been created. Among, among the non-imamis, the Ash'aris also believe. One of their scholars by the name of Sa'duddin al-Taftazani, in his book, he was born in Taftazan. Taftazan is one of the provinces of Khurasan, the greater Khurasan. In his book, Sharh al-Maqasid, he believes that they are both being created. Also, the Hanafi scholars, Ali ibn Muhammad al-Qawshaji, again from the province of Khurasan, he's Hanafi. In his book, Sharh al-Tajreed, he believes that they are created. However, there is a group in the Sunni tradition, the Mu'tazilite, believe that paradise and hellfire, they have not been created yet. They will be created in the future. Among them is Al-Qadi Abdul Jabbar, Abu Hashim, and those leaders of the Mu'tazilite tradition. And among the Imami scholars, the Twelvers, Al-Sharif al-Radi, the one who gathered Nahj al-Balagha. Many of you have a copy of Nahj al-Balagha at home. This, this peak of eloquence, this book contains the letters, the sermons, and the short sayings of Amir al-Mu'mineen, Ali ibn Abi Talib, It was gathered by this scholar who was born in Baghdad and died in Baghdad in year 406 at the age of 45, only 45. He's a great scholar. In his book, Haqa'iq al-Ta'wil, he believes he's the brother of Sharif al Murtala. They were two brothers. Sharif al Murtala is older than him. Sharif al Radi believes that uh, the hellfire and paradise will be created later on, not now. So, those who believe that they already exist, paradise exists, and hellfire exists. They depend on some verses of the Qur'an. One of them, the one I started this speech with, وَسَارِعُوا Hasten, haste, haste, run, وَسَارِعُوا from sur'a, from speed. سَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ Seek forgiveness from your Lord. Do not delay that. Do not delay it. وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ And also to receive his paradise. The width of it, the size of it, وَجَنَّةٍ عَرْضُهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضِ The size of this paradise is the size of the heaven and earth. And tomorrow we're going to speak about this size. If the size of paradise is the size of heaven and earth, then it means it encompasses the entire heaven and earth. The entire heaven without being unaware. Try to understand the meaning. So in Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says, <clears throat> وَقُلْنَا يَا آدَمُ اسْكُنْ أَنْتَ وَزَوْجُكَ الْجَنَّةِ So we said, Adam, you and your wife, Zawjuk means your wife, your pair, your mate, your pair, Zawjuk. Settle and live in paradise. اسْكُنْ أَنْتَ وَزَوْجُكَ الْجَنَّةِ So this is, Another evidence that Jannah does exist now. Otherwise, God would not say to Adam, go and live in paradise. Do you accept this? Huh? So what is the, the flaw with this? 
those who believe that paradise has not been created yet, what do they say about this? What is their ishkal? What is their point that they bring about regarding this verse? Ahsant. They say, this is not Jannatul Khuld. Jannatul Khuld is the final one. This one was a temporary Jannah. Sometimes some of them, they say, one of the gardens of, of this life, Hayatul Dunya. Some of them, they say, even if it is not here on earth, it is there in heaven, but it is not the final one. It's not the upper one. It's not the upper class Jannah. It's the lower class. Why? For an important reason. Hmm? No, no, not about forbidden tree. Why Adam was not settled first in the final paradise? He was settled in lower paradise. Because if you go to the final paradise, would they kick you out after that or not? No kicking out. Once you go into that final one, no one will take you out. Your entry is permanent. You are documented immigrant. No one will come to you and say, hey, let me look at your paper, papers. You know, you don't have papers, legal papers. No. When you go there, where, where, where does it say that in the Quran? In so many verses. Huh? Ahsant. Hum fiha khalidun. قُلْ أَذَلِكَ خَيْرٌ أَمْ جَنَّةُ الْخُلْدِ الَّتِي وُعِدَ الْمُتَّقُونَ جَنَّةُ الْخُلْدِ means you are there forever. Another verse in the Quran, أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْوَارِثُونَ سُورَةُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Chapter 23. أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْوَارِثُونَ Those people are the heirs. أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْوَارِثُونَ الَّذِينَ يَرِثُونَ الْفِرْدُوسِ Those who inherit, inherit, Inherit Firdaus, the garden, Hum fiha Khalidun. No one will take you out. Once you enter there, there is no exit. There is no exit door. There is entrance door, but there is no exit. You are there forever. Khalidina fiha ma damat is samawatu wal ard. And they say, yes, God said to Adam and Eve, stay in Jannah. But Jannah in the Quran, it could be a reference not only to paradise in the hereafter, but a reference to what? Huh? To gardens even here. وَلَوْلَا إِذْ دَخَلْتَ جَنَّتَكَ قُلْتَ وَلَوْلَا إِذْ دَخَلْتَ جَنَّتَكَ سُورَةُ الْكَهْفِ قُلْتَ لَا, ح... لا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ so this is Jannah also. A man who had a garden called Jannah. You can call it Jannah here. In another verse, Surah Saba, لَقَدْ كَانَ لِسَبَأٍ فِي مَسْكَنِهِمْ Indeed, Saba, the people of Yemen, they had a huge, great sign in their abode, in their dwellings, in their homes. لَقَدْ كَانَ لِسَبَأٍ فِي مَسْكَنِهِمْ آيَةٍ جَنَّتَانِ عَنْ يَمِينٍ وَشِمَالٍ Two gardens full of fruits and food. Now people of Yemen are starving to death, but thousands of years ago, it was all green. God says, garden full of food and fruits. Jannatani an yaminin, on the right, wa shimal, on the left. Kulu min rizqi rabbikum. Enjoy and eat the provision of your Lord. Baldatun tayyibah. Beautiful town, wa rabbun ghafoor. A forgiving Lord. So, there are, in the Qur'an, the Qur'an speaks about the paradise of Barzakh and the paradise, the final. The hellfire of the Barzakh and the hellfire which is eternal and final. So there are two paradises and there are two hellfires. Regarding the paradise of Barzakh, 
This is during the time of death, before resurrection, before resurrection, before the day of Qiyamah, the day of resurrection. People who are going to enter paradise or enter hellfire, they enter the temporary one, not the permanent abode. In Surah Yasin, Allah speaks the paradise which is temporary, the Barzakhi paradise. Barzakhi, not the final. He says, وَجَاءَ رَجُلٌ مِنْ أَقْصَى الْمَدِينَةِ يَسْعَى At the time Jesus sent some one of his disciples to a town to preach to them, to invite them to worship God. وَجَاءَ رَجُلٌ مِنْ أَقْصَى الْمَدِينَةِ يَسْعَى قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ اتَّبِعُوا الْمُرْسَلِينَ اتَّبِعُوا مَنْ لَا يَسْأَلُكُمْ أَجْرًا وَهُمْ مُهْتَدُونَ After a conversation with the people and a debate with them and inviting them, they rejected him, they murdered him unfortunately. When they murdered him, قِيلَتْ خُلِ الْجَنَّةِ Immediately after his death, Allah says to him, enter paradise. But this is not the final paradise. This is the temporary. قَالَ يَا لَيْتَ قَوْمِي I wish people who murdered me, they know about my destination, my abode. Where did I end up with? يَا لَيْتَ قَوْمِ يَعْلَمُونَ بِمَا غَفَرَ لِي رَبِّي وَجَعَلَنِي مِنَ ال... He forgave me and he made me one of the honorables. So this is the paradise which is lower than the final one, the barzakh. This is the transit, transit if you wish, the transit paradise. And there is a hellfire which is a transit before the final one. Where is it in the Quran? It's when God speaks about the people of Pharaoh. النَّارُ يُعْرَضُونَ عَلَيْهَا غُدُوًّا وَعَشِيًّا The hellfire that they have been exposed to it, يُعْرَضُونَ عَلَيْهَا غُدُوًّا in the morning وَعَشِيًّا in the evening. Twice a day, they, they expose them to hellfire, which is the barzakh hellfire, not the final one. النَّارُ يُعْرَضُونَ عَلَيْهَا غُدُوًّا وَعَشِيًّا and then another hellfire they're going to go to. That is the final one. But meantime, meantime, they expose them to the barzakh hellfire, to the intermediate hellfire. And then the hadith of our Imams, Imam al Ridha alayhi salatu was salam, he was asked specifically, Is paradise created? He said, Yes. The Prophet وسلم, during his trip of Mi'raj, he dakhala al-jannah. He did enter the final paradise and wara'a an-nar. And he passed by the hellfire and saw it. And Imam al-Sadiq wasalam, says <clears throat> that a twelver, a Shia imami, has to believe in these four things. One of them, the Mi'raj, the, the bodily the physical ascension of the Prophet, not just with his spirit. He went up to heaven with his body too. The physical and the bodily ascension of the Prophet, which is Mi'raj. The second thing that you have to believe in, وَالْمُسَاءَلَةُ فِي الْقَبْرِ There is a questioning in the grave, interrogation in the grave. Once they put us there, two angels are going to approach us. What is their name? Munkar and Nakir for those who didn't do good, for the criminals. But for those who did good, what's the name of those angels? Mubashirun wa Bashir. Bashir from glad tidings. And they are different. Munkar and Nakir, they are frowning. They are angry. They don't look nice. They look horrible. But for those who went with a clean record, Allah would not send them someone horrible. Allah will send them Mubashir and, and Bashir. They are smiling, welcoming, beautiful face. So this is interrogation in the grave. The third one, Ash-Shafa'a. You should not have doubt about the concept of intercession and Shafa'a. Allah will be, Allah will permit. Man indahu illa bi'idhni. Allah permits the Prophet permits the imams, permit the awliya to intercede on your behalf. This is number three. 
And number four, وَخَلْقُ الْجَنَّةِ وَالنَّارِ That paradise and hellfire have been already created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tomorrow, inshallah, we will discuss the location, which zip code paradise falls in, which zip code, which area, which county, which state, where is it? Where is paradise and where is hellfire? Tomorrow, inshallah, we will discuss them. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us the people of paradise, inshallah, during this holy month of Ramadan to accept our a'mal, our deeds, our du'as. And don't forget to pray for the people of Gaza and Palestine and all the mu'mineen and mu'minat and recite and, and pray for the hastening of the return of our imam. وعجل اللهم في فرج سيدنا ومولانا صاحب العصر والزمان وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات والشهداء ثواب الفاتحة مع الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صل على محمد إن شاء الله tomorrow we begin with the صلاة إن شاء الله صلاة المغرب at seven seventeen دعاء كميل begins at six forty five صلاة at seven seventeen p.m. followed by iftar and by the dua and the lecture.